Zip lived for the electronic rush, the hum. Your hum, as every good Tweeby knows, is only as good as the body that can take it. Zip was totally wired. Dual biofeedback amps with second system modification and a seven gig transcoder decoupler. That was just what I knew about. And you thought Star Trek had difficult techno babble. Anyway, welcome back to our Let's Play. Let's wake up Zip. At this uh, little televerse computer thing, which also needs credit to operate. Welcome, Cutter. You have incoming mail. Please choose a service. Well, it better be not be spam. I don't think he even asking you anymore whether he was a man trying to be an artificial intelligence or an artificial intelligence which thinks it's a man. Something's up with the data I'm curing. Can you tell me anything about it? Negative military infection. But that doesn't make any sense. I deal strictly in corporate, not military. Can indicate copy protection. Data of great trade value. If you can get it out, I'll trade with it. Asking able to penetrate fire defenses, virus terminal path. What do you mean terminal? Virus too strong. Check back to origin. How could it get past Doc's antivirus? Virus too strong. Are you willing to give me a credit line based on my data? Affirmative. Ask you when to deal. Credit line established. Cutter's brain ownership transferred. Two things. Do a background search. See if anybody has been checking up on me. I need to talk to Zip. Can you transfer his link number onto my database? Affirmative. Wow, I wish my mail would suck me into my computer. Anyway, now Cutter finally Loading knows about the virus. Software. You have filtered news items. Please choose a service. Now to actually wake up Zip. Let's find him in the Televerse. Hey Cutter, good to see you man. I'll meet you back on the other side. Wow, well, what the hell Loading was he doing there software. in Hippieville? Anyway, news you items are... News items. Well, I'm just going to show this one Please since it's going to reference the... Today, just the terrorist organization NAMO has announced that it intends to destroy the Televerse. They are threatening to plant a virus which will detonate inside the Televerse, bringing the world's communication network to a standstill, paralyzing the global economy. The Televerse has the most sophisticated anti-intrusion devices known to this planet. It will take more than a bunch of bullies to threaten us. We have obtained the following broadcast made by NAMO. We believe that Namo have the right to reclaim its holy grounds from the imperialist rulers. Unless our demands are met, we are prepared to destroy the whole Televerse. Time is running out. We're prepared to waste the whole system if that's what it takes. Are your genetics getting you down? Feel like you're about due for a service? Here at Reset, we can fix you up from the inside out. Even commercials and news, man, in the future. Anyway, there are quite a bunch of these news items and commercials, but they have little re relevance to the actual story. I might make an extra video of them uh, if there's any need for them. Hey, Zeb, how's it going? Hey, Mr. McGill, it's something. Don't you think of anything but rushing, Zeb? There's two kinds of people in this world. Those that rush and those that don't. Now, you've got your derma rush, that's for the fleshies. You've got your skydiving, your racing, your orbit jumping. All those things that move your body through time and space. And there is your dweeby. 100% totally synthesized, fully transcendental, biocontrolled electronic rush. We're talking beyond the flesh, we're talking beyond electrons, we're talking beyond silicon. This is a thousand, no? A hundred thousand times stronger than any rush you're going to get through motion. I need some more things, can you help? It's a real dry time at the moment. Everyone's clamping down. Well, I've got some military, some core tech, some soft tech. What can you offer me for it? Orbit jumping sounds kind of dangerous, don't you think? Anyway, we want to trade this thing in, uh, Zip. Can you work on this? Uh, this sucker's fragged. You need a new one. No How shit. Much? Afraid I can only take cash for that item. Great. What else have you got? I can give you a bundle in trade. Might come in handy. Alright, and this, he wants uh, that, that package we got earlier, that uh, little game, I guess. That's just what I've been looking for. Meltdown, man. Here you go. Be sure to catch me later if there's anything else you need. Yep, enjoy your rush, or whatever. Anyway, he gave us a little, uh, well, I'm not 
actually sure what it is. But it extends uh, the time limit of the virus by half an hour, so we'll take it. Doing would help slow down the virus, but not for long. He also gave us another uh, high-tech device, which we'll be using shortly. But first... When NAMO find an undercover agent, they play a little game. The agent is given a pistol and an hour's head start. Several young women are given short blade knives and sent after him. I've never seen it take longer than two hours for them to come back with his skin. I had infiltrated a Puerto Rican gang of pharmaceutical smugglers. We were trading drugs with Namo when I met Gala. Doubt she'd recognize me. Back then, I had a different face. Shooting time! Nice how she uh, lets us handle it. Yeah, run behind your pole there. Oh, that's it already. Only two guys. It's rude to point. Thanks for the help back there. Call me sometime. We'll do hey, lunch. Hey, I figure you got me into that. You owe me one. What do I look like? The prize at a fair? Three direct hits and you get to keep me? That was some slick trick you pulled off back there. How'd you manage that? Oh, I get it. It's a line. You're looking to get your rocks off and you figure me for the sucker play. No, I need some help. A simple task. I'll pay. Hard currency. Nigerian. In advance. I've got it back in the hotel. You got a cute ass. Okay. Some ground rules. No touching, stroking, or fondling. Strictly looky-looky, and you pay for what I break. When you need me, you can reach me on this. All right. It's also kind of funny how uh, no one in the bar actually gives a shit that there's a shootout. But oh well. Let's go over to the hotel to get us some uh, cash to pay Ziv with. So we can get out of here again. Here's the hotel, as you can see. Now this guy here, which will pop up in a bit, there he is. If you go forward, he'll shoot you right away. There's no warning or anything. Although, Cutter can say a random warning again as you approach the car. Is this it then? Okay, here's where you're in your keep. You see that guy over there? I want you to distract him. So I can go around the back. You get more interesting by the moment, pale face. What you got soft tech security after you for? You done robbed a cash machine or what? You gonna do it or not? You say jump, I say how high. For some reason, the audio in this clip is very uh, echoey. And I'm glad they didn't go for the cliche and such. Whatever the reason she was coming, it wasn't for cash. Gala was as slick and mean as I can raise him in the burial. She would be useful, and if I kept her close enough, I might be okay. And they totally walked off the screen too early. Oh well. Let's see what's he got. Encryption algorithm. Shouldn't be any problem if you got the decoder. Which zip just happened to give us to, uh, to Maybe us. there was some clue in here. I don't have long before this guard's missed. This is the decoder. It's very high techy. Oh yeah, find the code. This is a very annoying puzzle actually. This took me ages to find the first time. Too bad you don't have ages, so I had to try a couple of times. However, here's the number. And you don't actually have to find it. If you know the number, you can just punch it in right away. But yeah, the first time it took me very long to figure this one out. Pong capture, do not kill a pigeon. Dealey was involved, this must be a high-priority mission. 
He was the best in a business that rated psychotic tendencies as an asset. A weirdo, so to speak. And anyway, here we can find uh, different things about the layout of the hotel, which you uh, should study before you actually go in the place. Since in there, one misstep and you're dead. There's a weak spot around back. We could try there. Let's uh, do that. Which we'll actually do in the next video. In the next video we'll just go uh, through the hotel. And get our money. But for now, let's save up. And end Daily the video. Was like some nightmare. He seemed to invade my thoughts and my memories. It was like some spreading cancer. 